My name is Jackson. I'm 28 this year and I'm currently serving as a missionary for Hok Tokyo. When I went to Japan with our team for STMs, um, God challenged me to take a few days to do a prayer walk. So one of the places that came to mind when I was um, asking God where was um, Kabukicho, the red light district area of Shinjuku. And then in that place, I encountered a lot of Japan's brokenness. A pimp actually came up to me and asked me whether I was interested in sexual services. There were buildings and buildings of video watching cafe where you could watch um, adult videos or pornography. I remember when I left that place and I was walking back to the station, I was asking God, why did he show me that? I was even challenging God and asking God, why does he even bother loving the Japanese? And I think in that moment, God just broke my heart for them. Jackson, I love the Japanese people. They have all these different vices and these brokenness. I still love them. God invited me and he said, would you partner with me to love them? Safety. Japan is an inclusive society. They attribute a lot of importance to belonging to a certain group and finding a group that they belong in. Um, yet, I think when you walk the streets of Japan and you come face to face with these different quirks, uh, whether it being the maid cafes that you see at Akihabara or whether it's the social escorts that you can find at Shinjuku or different Red districts area in Japan, you can't help but to feel a sense of loneliness that the Japanese are experiencing. Most of these people who try to find purpose in the communities that they belong to are not actually able to find it. So they seek elsewhere. They look at make cafes, look at social escorts as a way to feed their companionship, the need for companionship in their life. そのまあ、一人でその、ちょ、あま、一人っていうかまあ、は、まあ、好きじゃないんで、その友達とかと色々その過ごしてる時間が好きですね。一時的なあれっていうのは、まあ、嬉しくても譲れなくなっちゃう
or what the Japanese really need to hear. If only you knew the gospel, if only you knew who God is. That God is a God who is willing to journey with you. A God is a God that is willing to do life together with you. And that there is a community that we call the church, that we can come and experience God's love communally and together. Yeah, I think, I think the, I think this part of the loneliness that Japanese experience really does reveal a need that the Japanese have, that they, you would be better, you know, if they could come to hear of the good news in their life. Yeah. In Japan, before they actually believe in something, they need to belong to a certain community, which then often requires us to spend a lot more time to build relationships you know, with um, these Japanese friends of ours, right? We have various ministry um, activities like um, campus outreach, go LG events where we uh, invite people out for picnic or invite over people over to our place for board games. As a personal project of mine, I actually joined a homeless ministry, uh, meet together to uh, pack some food to be able to give out to some homeless people at um, Ikebukuro. Because we, we stay in Singapore and in our local area, we come to experience God in a very local sense. He's not just a God that is here in our hearts, yes, here in our life group, yes, but He is a God that is managing and taking care of all His creation in this world that He created. Uh, if you have the time to offer your time to go on a short-term missions, or better if you can, to take a break and to even consider a long-term stint with God. Um, and if you're not able to go, I also want to encourage you to pray continually um, for the aspect of missions, um, be it in our church or in your own life. Um, and lastly, if you are not able to um, go, to also consider um, giving to uh, uh, the missions. When I first came here, um, to be able to not worry about things like <clears throat> the provision of the ministry house, uh, and to be able to really focus on God's work as a missionary here um, has been very helpful. I also want to tell you and share with everyone that when you do give, um, this is what um, you are contributing to. That you are helping uh, missionaries like me uh, or missionaries around uh, the world that is sent by our church um, to be able to focus on God's work and to not worry about things like provision. Yeah. I was watching a video, a documentary about um, the tsunami in Japan that happened uh, many years ago. I remember when I was just sitting in my room and watching that video, I began to weep and break down. Looking at the number of casualties from that disaster, the number almost about 20,000 and then thinking to myself that less than 1% of these people are with Jesus now and the rest of them will never be able to be with Jesus again. There's a, there's, there's a great need here in Japan and as a Christian, I want to step up to meet this need. それは神の御子を信じる者が誰一人滅びず永遠の命を得るためです。それそれはあの知りますか？知っていますか？そのどこからの？わからないです。ないですか？わからない。